five. I uh, hope you got that right. Scotts Valley is a beautiful place. It is. I grew, went to high school near there in Santa Cruz. So we're going to talk about something. Steve Gibson's here from GRC.com, security guru. He co-hosts the Security Now podcast with me. Uh, and, of course, he's a creator of Spinrite, everybody's favorite disk recovery maintenance utility. And we've talked for secu about security for years now. Vista is the first version of Windows that directly addresses these issues. Yes, Microsoft, after years of having their head buried in the sand, yeah. really decided, okay, we're going we're, we're gonna to acknowledge the fact that Windows has a horrible security track record and reputation. We're going to do everything we can to fix that in Vista. The problem is that in order to tighten things up, they have to constrain programs from doing pretty much anything they want to do. Which That's is what, the problem. Because malware, rootkits, viruses, spyware can do pretty much, it has always been able to historically do pretty much anything it wants right. to do. So you've got to lock them down. Yeah, exactly. And so Microsoft said, okay, we, we want to tighten things down. Well, when they tried to do that in the lab, not this lab, but theirs, yeah. nothing worked. Right. It just broke every, it software just, assumes that you can do anything it wants. Because it, it always, always has could. Been, yeah. Exactly. So what Microsoft did was they said, okay, we're gonna we're gonna move the bar forward, up, down, whatever direction. As best it is. we can. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So what they've decided to do is they created this thing called UAC, which actually is user account control. Oh, I'm sorry, I thought it was access control. Sort of. Well, it, it, that's effectively what it is. Right. When you, it used to be that when you logged in as an administrator, you had godlike rights. You could do anything. When you logged in as a normal user, you couldn't do things. Right. And and so there was this problem of having to go back and forth. Now what Vista does is when you log in as an administrator or a normal user, you actually have a pair of logons. You get two. You get an administrator write logon and a normal user logon. Okay. And normally you're running under the normal user logon. So even you, if you're an administrator. Even if you're an administrator, you are still have neutered rights. That's a good thing. That well, because they're trying Microsoft is trying to protect you. Right. Then when when the software you're running tries to do something that that is prohibited, it used to be that it would just fail. Right. It just wouldn't work. Right. Okay, now now you get this dialog box which annoys everybody. Windows puts up a big stop sign and says, hold on, we it gotta get permission. Darkens the screen, yep. puts up this nice little corner, yep. little rounded corner thing that says, is this you trying to do this? Right. Which bugs people because it's like, who who of else course. would it be? Well, well <laughs> it could be a malware. Virus. It could be somebody bad. It could bad. be a rootkit. Right. It could be something you're not expecting. Right. And what this does is this gives Windows permission to switch over over temporarily to the other logon credential, the the godlike administrator mm -hmm. credential, to do whatever it was that would otherwise have been blocked. Now, if you're not running as administrator, you'll need to enter administrator password at that point to prove that you have the right, right. to do this. Right. Even, but even as you said, even an admin will get the pop-up. You just can click yes. Yes. Though. Okay. So, so what I wanted to explain to people is annoying as this is, and and you know, you can turn this off if you are confident that you're not going to have stuff crawling around in your machine. But the point is, annoying as this is, it really is serving a function. It is protecting you. And and, and see, in the old days, you had to log off and log back on as an administrator, then log back off and back on as a standard right, user. Right. Well, this makes that transition much more seamless right. and transparent, but you still have to say, yes, I'm, I'm aware that I'm doing something that needs extra power. Let me have it for a minute. Then the app will, will proceed. It will succeed in that rather than just failing. As you've said many times, there's a trade-off between convenience and security. Yes. Yes, it's annoying. Yes. Yes, it's inconvenient, but it's the only way of making Windows more secure. Do you recommend leaving it on? For most users, absolutely. Yeah. And the theory is that after you're through setting things up and installing things, because it's sort of an installation time yeah, deal. Most of the time it doesn't bug you. It ought to kind of quiet down right, right. after your system stabilizes. Right. And you shouldn't see it that often, which means if you do see it doing something 
would they, like you were doing yesterday and you didn't see it. Right. It's like, ooh, you know, what's going on? That's if, the if, downfall of all of these, though. There's a certain amount of numbness that occurs, and yes. pretty soon people just go, yes, 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 and then it has no value whatsoever. That's the downside of and systems the, like and, this. And the bad news is there just isn't a way around it. Right. We're trying to make Windows more secure, but we're coming from a mode where it just did anything for Constantly you. Constantly been and the Microsoft's problem. too insecure. Is maintaining compatibility with older software, but yep. they've got to do it. They've yep. got to do it. UAC. You explain it so well. Yeah. Steve Gibson, <laughs> GRC.com. He'll be back on uh, another uh, show because we just love his stuff. Find out more and get some great free software for security at GRC.com. All right, final word coming up. Right